Okay, the last cell. Once again, this is just the thin uh, aluminum sheets of metal, three inch wide. I don't recall how long, um, probably about 18 inches long. Um, wound up uh, with this uh, drywall tape as a spacer throughout. Uh, let's get it in the water and see how it does. Okay, this cell was kind of hard to get hooked up. Um, it's still kind of a prototype, so let me zoom in a little bit here. I just clipped on to the end. Let me zoom out a little bit. As you can see, the other clip um, here, I clipped onto the other side. Then clip here. So let's let's see what it can do. Let's give it some power right now. Wow. This one's actually pretty impressive. Um, once again, this is aluminum. It's putting out the bubbles. Kind of impressed with this one. Let it go for a second. Let's look at the amps. Uh, Drawing about 1.7, and once again we're at 12 volts. Not too bad. I'm going to have to experiment a little more with this cell design. I'll have to make it a little nicer and make the attachments a little more convenient. Uh, but it's interesting, the, the production. Putting it out pretty good. Okay, that's it. Let me turn this one off and then I will be putting um, some baking soda in as an electrolyte. We'll run these cells again and see how they do. Okay, once again, this is a gallon of just regular tap water right now. Um, you can use baking soda as an electrolyte. I have also used um, white vinegar and I've also used just regular salt. Um, I know there are other things you can use as well. You can use lye. Um, I know there's a couple others you can use. I, I prefer baking soda. That's my favorite one. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. This, this is a gallon jar. Kind of top it off there. See if you can see that there. Baking soda. This is one gallon of water. So I'll put that in there. Let's put it's one gallon, so we're gonna put let's just do two spoons. I think that's enough. Get this out of the way, I'm gonna mix it up and show you. I wanna make sure it's wanna make sure it gets mixed in with the water really well. Okay, now we, as you can see it's still spinning, I mixed it there. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go, I'm going to hook this cell here back up, this aluminum cell that was just in there, and I'll go backwards and I'll work my way back to the first cell. So let me go ahead and get this hooked up, get it placed back in the water and we'll power it up and let's see what it does. Okay, I've, I've got it placed back in the water there and we're going to power it up and see what it does. Looks like it's producing a little bit more. Uh, I'm not sure. It doesn't seem too much different than without. But it is producing. Let me raise one end to see if it makes any difference. Well, anyways, not too bad. Let's get to the next cell. 
Okay, we're going to jump back to the aluminum screen and put it in and see what it does. Okay, let's fire it up. Not too bad for aluminum. Not too bad at all. This design needs a little more work, but um, I think it may be onto something with this design. Get you a little closer there. Let's take a look at it. Sitting in there. Okay, let me shut it down and get the next cell in there. Okay, I've decided to do the stainless steel wire cells next and then we'll end with the plates. So we've got the um, twisted wire here. Let's get it in the water and see what it does. Okay, we've got it in the water and I'm going to give it power right now. Put it off pretty good. Get a little closer and see. Well, let's put it off. Once again, as I mentioned before, um, stainless steel wire needs electrolyte. It doesn't do that that well in just regular water. It is producing quite a bit of hydrogen though. Let me shut it down and let's get the other the other uh, stainless steel wire cell in. Okay, I've got my last stainless steel wire cell. Uh, this is the one that's done uh, single wires here. They're not the twisted ones. Let me get this in the water and let's see what it can do. In the water, I'm going to zoom in. The water is still kind of milky a little bit from the last cell. I tried to let it settle down a little bit. Let me zoom in a little bit. Let's watch this thing go. You can kind of see some of the things floating around in the water there. But let's give this one power and see what it does. This one is producing just like the HH02 video. Uh, this was in a smaller jar, this same cell. Does quite well. Alright, I'm trying to keep this video. Um, short so it fits on YouTube here so let's get to the next cell